Welcome back to the Ascendant Lands. Last time we left off, you guys had managed to defeat an Orc Orthon and a Kaloth, two Bodex, and a scene to appease and put on a really good show for some Willow Wisps. Um, as you guys managed to work your way back to, after finding the, the medallion, an Orthon exploded into you. Um, he has managed to find the second medallion and is now distributed among you guys. Um, and you so went back to where the scene of the crime, where you helped um, clean up some of the mess, the bar grues, and set the, set the pyres for all the, all, the, all the fallen men and women. And um, you moved off away to set camp with the Helm and Captain Mercenaries, and you had a well deserved chill rest night um can i just confirm what you guys were doing so would you guys have wanted to to set up your usual watch routine or would you have been happy for the helm encampment people to do it or would you like to join in it's really up to you guys yeah. i think we probably should do our own still i like i like my watch yeah i think um yeah yeah we'll probably still do the usual the usual watch rotation i think no, nothing against the helm people, but they did get jumped once already, so... No, that's absolutely fine. It's just worth... Um, <laughs> the, the paranoia has set in already, so... That, that's fair. Um, it's just worth confirming um, yeah, with all you guys how, how you guys want to set it up. Um, no point in assuming on my end anything, um, and it'd be wrong. Yep. So yeah, so you guys set up normal watch routines with the helm guys rotating in. It's a bit... You're not as um, on edge... As you normally are on your own, I'd say. Um, it's a bit more of a relaxed atmosphere. For yourself. Just, you, well, it's, it's stronger and more strength in numbers, that kind of aspect, rather than you guys are definitely alone, but you're not alone. You know what I mean? I don't know, having a demon materialise like, right behind you puts you, I think, on the jump for like the next few hours. Mm. Fair. Um, <laughs> but... Um, through the night it is generally quiet for as quiet can be for you guys um, and you all wake up get up in the morning sort out your breakfast that like you all get to share food with and rations everybody and I say it's a fairly nice time and you go off on your merry way um, before you fully leave um the George stops you and he just looks at you all in the eye and says I really do appreciate the lengths you went to get those bastards I know you, you might have had your own agenda for it but I appreciate it and as a token of my appreciation um, he reaches into his like satchel and hands out a, a section of his Rolodex. It says, "Here's everything I have from fiends in case you guys ever come across them again. May I hope it serves you well." Oh, expecting gold. It's good. Well, <laughs> it could be proved quite useful. Thank you. I'll, uh... Nothing right, Talari. You, you, you would take that. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll hold on to this one. Mm, very useful. More things for us to kill. Oh, also, yeah. just uh, remember who, well, our, our group name, JC. Just uh, just feel free to spread the good word. Yes, I'm sure I'll raise a toast to the Justice Collective for hmm. saving my skin, at least. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, that's it. Full swing. Bloody, that's it. No no going back now. There's no <laughs> way we can avoid that name. <laughs> yeah, so... We couldn't avoid it from day one. <clears throat> so so to confirm you have basically a, a section of of like book or Rolodex as you would ever would see fit of fiends. So you basically have the collection of fiends. Um not quite as um elaborately described as the Book of Hulk might have um might have had. Like there's some crossover on some of the monsters in there mm. and like the way and the way it's described in the Book of Hulk is a lot more embellished. And the way it is in in this in not the Relodex is a lot more like matter of fact and um mm. 
and such, but it's just as useful and just as informative. Mm. I mean, it gave um, quite a lot of information about the author, and like it told us about it going invisible and at will, and I think exactly, yeah. Well. So it's it's like information that um, basically anyone has ever really observed of of these creatures, of like those creatures, and so as it's, it's all like practically or practically all history. And so there's a lot of history that has happened between um, mortal kind and fiends and such, or even like god kind and fiends and the devils and such. So there's there's a lot of history there to um, understand. So yeah, so you you got a lot there for you. Um, and how? So you make your way off to Lathander Ridge. Um, what kind of pace do you wish to set? So you oh. could either go. You can either keep trying and make the pace you were making the previous day mm. um, and you'll get there within the rest, within a half day for certain um, or you could take a, a more relaxed pace and get there for like the late afternoon closer to evening but like shops and stuff will still be open yeah I mean mm. I think we should probably get you like a bit the... more worn out than we were we should probably take it a little bit easy well i'm a little bit concerned about the uh the uh the uh, prying eyes uh, the sooner i you know we get the get something to protect us against that the better really i agree you First. still do any of that routine by the way what they're detecting magic in the stuff. morning mm -hmm. i mean at this point there's not a lot we can do anyway so you're not going to bother? Because they didn't stop it though, he just detected it. It didn't stop it from happening, did it? The, no, it the only thing is you say about using your magic again is we don't know when it's going to happen because now they can do it at any time. Yeah. Whereas before we kind of had a rough idea of when it was happening and we thought we could stop it, but now that we know it's scrying, there's no, there's, apart from dispelling it, there's nothing we can do, and they can just cast it again anyway. So. Darkness, if, when you saw it, you cast darkness, and oh, yeah. that means they can't see it. That's true, but 10 minutes out of 24 hours is not a likely window. No. No. I don't think it's... save your slots in case we get attacked. Yeah, I think it's best to just save our thing until, save our energy for getting to the next town. Can't remember what it was called, but yeah. Yeah. We're going to Lothander Ridge. Oh, is that actually the town? Okay, I thought that was like an area. Yep. Lothander Ridge. Fair, fair enough. Yep. Okay. That's the, that's the city name. Okay. Um, that's fair. That's, sorry, it's worth asking. Um, cool. Yeah, if we want to rush, I guess we can rush to Lothander Ridge, get our thing, and then carry on. Mm. Yeah. Whatever pace. I definitely would feel more comfortable, yes. Me too. Okay. If you're in agreement. Um... You you make your rushed way to Earth and the Ridge. Um, when you get there um, with the horse, you feel that you still have a good half day's ride out of it at that pace. Mm -hmm. um, so you, if if you wanted just to stop here only for an hour or two and then keep going, you you fully can if you wished, or you could stop for the night. And it's, again, it's still up to you. Mm -hmm. Um. As you get there, you see um, people in white robes beginning to, like um, making their preparations to to leave for the next morning um, to walk on their um, the walk of the remembered and and some of the, the bodies. It's, it's it's it doesn't smell bad. It's um there's lots of like, lots flowers. Of, like, flowers. Yeah, there's there's lots of flowers and. Um, like nice smelling, like lavender and other like like very overly perfumed flowers that are like um, uh, that are like grown to 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 do this to to perfume over the smell of uh, their dying, uh, or rotting corpses and such. So, and being Lathander, they they basically can do so whenever they want. Um, so they're very much in the blessed blessed area. Lots of lots of flowers. Lots of Light um, white walls is very clean. I'd say again, you, you as you as you walk around the city, you don't or notice walk around the city, you don't notice any homeless. It's potentially very charitable of a city. Mm -hmm. As you go around, it's 
It smells nice. It's quite nice. It's quaint almost. It's it's almost like um, little village esque in the in the here in the UK, but um, like 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 you have like a little village hall. It feels very um, small, but for the for very large. Like everybody seems to know each other as you go around. It's very friendly. What would you guys like to do? Well, I suggest we. Uh... Just put the horse in the stable and go straight to the market. Yep, sounds good. <clears throat> to the market. <laughs> Probably going to need some kind of, I don't know, magical one. Protection. And uh, if we can afford it, I guess one for each of us would be good. Ideally, I have no idea how much something like this is going to cost us. Unless you can get one that covers all of us. Mm. Like a... Like a... I mean, yeah. Yeah. The problem with stuff like that, don't they normally work in a range? And we do tend to all kind of scatter. Yeah, but not usually. Usually we sleep in similar areas and all that kind of thing. Mm. Well, let's see what... I'm what... saying I'm saying for expense purposes, you know? If we need to get one, but maybe do all of us, or we can get... Well, I guess we'll have to just, see, we'll have to just see what options there are, I guess. No use speculating now. three, get three free. <laughs> I mean, seems excessive, but okay. All right. Okay. Um, so you make your way to the market and ask around for a magic item that could potentially, like, like you, like you. There's some like knowledge in the back of your mind that goes, it's like, is it something like an amulet or like, and you think it's like the proof against non-detection or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and. As you ask around, the only real place that has that kind of thing is the oddity shop. Mm. I was afraid of that. God damn it. There's like, a nothing. There's 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 a lot of people that these people like they're like florists practically in the in the market. They're they're trying to sell all their best flowers to to people who are either celebrating something for, for a wedding or getting um or trying to get flowers for for the people they're trying to mourn or remember um lots of linen shops or lots of people selling like little cloth um bol bol bolts of little linen for people to turn into robes um and such like that so it's not a lot not a lot of space or magic in this in this marketplace um the oddity shop might be the best place for you. I mean, if that's the only place that we've... That's our only option, I guess we're going to have to go have a look. Not the, not the most ideal, but... We'll I mean, a... you can you can try your hand and try and get lucky down Smith's Alley. Um, oh, I mean, but, is that not... Okay. But, well, every every not every Smith is a magician, but some magicians are Smiths, so... Right. Um, uh, yeah, well, is there any plausible? Yeah, we'll probably right. do that then. I think I think Oddity Shop should be a last resort more than anything else. Okay, but yeah, so you've been asking around and like they say magic, and they go like maybe the Oddity Shop, <laughs> but then the back of the but then the back of your mind, you're like, no, nah, we're gonna try Smith's Alley first because yeah, fuck that shady shop, you know. Tell me about it. We've seen the what was it the ring, <laughs> all the rings, not, the whatever. nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, Turi is like, yeah, we should go to Smith's Alley, but Arthur really wants to go to the Oddity Shop. I mean, you still can down the line. There's nothing again, again, him. Arthur he really wants both. to. Turi doesn't. Arthur wants to. <laughs> 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 like a distinction to make. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, yep. see what happens. Smith's Alley, I guess. Yep, so you make your way down Smith's Alley, and you you ask around for like for magic and some of the smiths are like just just look in the metal two shots some of the smiths are like oh maybe maybe old 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 um um old jim down the down the alley or or love something or magical steve kevin kevin perhaps um and kevin and, um you eventually you eventually do come across the shop um it's just it looks a plain it looks like a plain smith shop but you, you notice that the the sign is actually floating and it just says smith at the front good good sign i guess literally yeah mm. 
you want to go in or no? Yes. This looks magical to me. They've got a floating sign. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, you you all make your way in, and you see. It takes you a while because there's lots of like trinkets and like random bric-a-brac of like scrap metal and potentially looks like random bits of clockwork and and other random bits and pieces <clears throat> that are very bizarre to to a lot of you. It's it's a lot more like detailed work than you're used to, used to Smith seeing. Like this is maybe like a jeweler is maybe more more likely this this shop should be uh, named as but eventually you you spot a gnome working in the back um and he's like hey come into my shop hey you you customers you got money uh, uh, yes i uh was wondering if you had a uh, an item of sorts that could help protection against uh, scrying or other non detective Crying, eh? Crying, scrying, scrying, scry, scry. Sounds the same if you just say it normally. Scrying. Do you know what that means? Of of course, I know what it means. It just doesn't sound like you do. I'm trying. I'm trying to jog my memory here, eh? You Um, know, like detecting people, like. I don't know, I'm not magical. Can you just explain it to the gnome, please? He tries to like shake his head as if there's like something in his ear, like you know, water in your ear sometimes and you I can like, help you out there if you want. Um no, 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 hey, hey, <laughs> hey. It's okay, it's okay. I just I've got some loose magic in my ear, you know? It just takes forever to get out. Um My name's Pokorin. Um I um Scrying. Um, you want to scry? No, no. You people, want... people, we're trying to stop people scrying on us. You're trying to stop scrying, right, right, right. Yes. Um, well, the uh, the best. Well, there's a few things that come to mind. Right things, wrong things. Right things, wrong things. Preferably the right things, please. Right. It's really getting on my nerves. Left things. <laughs> Left things, right things. Left, right. Scrying. Oh my goodness. Crying. Have you got what we need or not? Crying. Don't waste our time here. What does the man think? It's a process. Right, right. Clearly. Okay. Um, scrying. Yes. Um, okay. So you need ah. to stop scrying on you. Yes. From being scried upon. That's correct. So, we need something to stop scrying from you being scried upon. So scrying should stop on you. Yes. Uh, Someone else is scrying on us, and we want that to not work. So you want scrying to stop from someone else. Someone else. Or anyone else. Someone. (laughs) Some, any, some, any, 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 any kind of... We don't of want to be scribed. We don't want to be scribed. Can you... <laughs> that's, 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 we yes. want some... Don't want to be scribed full stop. Yes, full stop. Just full stop. From people scrying on us. Do don't, you don't, understand? Don't add extra words in. He gets confused. Just, we Do don't want understand? to be scribed full stop. Scribed <laughs> full stop. Yep. You want to scry full stop? Oh, no. <laughs> Left, right. Where's my spell list? Do I have something that I can hit him? <laughs> yeah, I might just smack him around. <laughs> <In a minute. laughs> if you try and like, if you try and like get close to him, he'll just um like duck and dodge away. He's he's a, he's a wily oh, gnome. Yeah. How, how how old is he? Is he quite old? He looks fairly old. Um, uh, uh, fairly old or young. Um, for a gnome, you're not quite sure. Um, it's it's got a beard. It's got a long white beard. Um, classic. No, yeah, they all got bits. Um, okay, okay, okay. Can, is there stuff on his desk or anything? Yeah, there's well, there's, there's plenty of things. There's lots of right, like right, tiny right, little pocket right. things, a little like spider thing that you think. Oh, like, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. So look, 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 and... look at me, look at me, look at me. This is us pointing at something random on his desk. Okay. This is someone else. They are scrying on us. Ryan, we don't yes. want that to happen anymore. Can you help so us? You don't want scrying. No one wants to scry on you. Correct. The second one. Daddy is nodding. She thinks okay. this whole thing is fucking hilarious. 
giggling quietly to herself at the back of the group. Okay. Um, okay, so scrying. No scrying on you. Yeah. A thing to not scry stop, on stop, you. Just stop your thought process right, there. Right, not left. <laughs> you were right the first time. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think. Okay, the, Have you okay. sold anything recently? Just on an unrelated note. Get any yes. customers? <laughs> okay. Um, I sold that spring last week. It came back though. Um, Why? Is sold... it defective? No, that's what springs do. <laughs> they, Wait, what? You know, they, we, you, they, we... you push them and they come back, you know. Um, do we trust this guy? Even if he sells us something, are we sure it's going to do what he's, he may or may not think it does? This could be worse than Odyssey Shop. No, but we don't have any other options. I think we should go to another shop. <laughs> the only other You'll... shop is the Odyssey Shop. I think we should go You'll... to the Odyssey You'll... Shop. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It's, it's coming. It's... Sorry, just... Oh, funny that. Scry... <laughs> Scrying. Not on you. <laughs> right, not left. Something. Okay. Just. I might. Okay. Where's he getting right and left from? This guy sounds like me when I'm coding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Um, okay. Amulets. Amulets. Singular, plural, amulet. Plural. Oh, we're all we're all gonna need some. Well, potentially all of us. Need. Let's not confuse him any further. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, the word let's let the process. Just, you know, just single word answers, please. So plural. <laughs> let's, plural. Let, let's let him finish a train of thought, and then we'll start adding. Many many amulets. One person. Plural. One amulet. Many people. Five. Six. Five. Plural. Five, five, five people. Six. Seven. <laughs> Why was seven afraid of? Making it worse with your one word. Why was seven afraid of six? Because eight nine. Oh my god! Can we please go to the Odyssey shop? Wait. Go to the Odyssey shop, Crusk. Huh? Go to the Odyssey shop, Crusk. Go on, switch me hook. All right, Crusk, I'll go with you. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Odyssey shop. Fuck this guy, man. Crusk is gonna walk out and go to the Odyssey shop. Wait, I have oddities. You want oddities? I can sell oddities. No, we don't want anything from you. No, 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 no. Focus on the problem. Scrying. Right. Scrying. Oh my god. Thank you. Left, not right. No. Right, oh not left. God. Can we um, go to the can I, can I, can wait, I, can I, I, wait. Give, wait. Amulet. Scrying. No. Can I, can I, can I, can I detect magic on this guy? Directly. On this guy? Yeah. Hmm. You, can, you can, but. So I'm, wish. Basically, I'm wondering if he's like, just Cur cursed in some way. No, he's just brainless. Or is he just that stupid? <laughs> I'm not sure a curse would come up on us on a detect magic. No? Personally. Um, okay. Also, it well, may not be the stupidity. So I was thinking, I was thinking more like a curse is like a, in the wrong places. A curse is a magic, <laughs> magical effect. That's the only thing. But that's I, fine. I just assumed um, something like exploded in his face. And probably. Probably. Isn't been right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But he's getting there. Like, you feel he's, like getting, he's getting there. Getting there. Like, amulets. Not amulets. Scrying, no, right, not left, right, 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 where, right. Where? I'm trying to see if I can cast something on Wait him here. to help him. And you'll like dive, basically Sorry. like Scrooge much stuck into gold, into like a pile of like gears, and let's like start like you, you have to duck and dive a little bit as like random gears and whirls and springs come out around you, but eventually <laughs> okay. he comes up with in his hand two. Amulets. Oh, horse. Goes, aha! Scrying, but not scrying. Amulet, but I found amulets. Ha -ha. <laughs> Have you got any more of those? Um, maybe. If you put, like, put those down, because I don't want you to lose them, and then see if you have any more. Down here. Well, I don't know. Just and like he's like pointing like in Where the pile he? of springs. No, 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 no. Like the, there. <laughs> She'll point to like a empty part, like a part of the counter or something. Just put it there. There. Okay. Some, somewhere that you're not, you know. It will just like toss them over to you. Because I'll be, I'll. 
Let's, I'll go let's digging. Go. No, Thoradin. Let's go. Let's no, Thoradin. Let's go. No, can Thoradin. I, can, I def can I deflect missile? <laughs> oh. You can easily catch it. It's not, it's not, it's not a difficult throw. It's, um, it's a weighty medallion with a, the loop round the top. It's very easy to catch. Um, um, he digs around for another like two minutes or so. You hear him running around, rummaging through the shop. And eventually, um, he comes up and he goes, Ha! I found another. I have three! In, in total or additionally? He's found three. one more, so now he's, he's got one three. Okay. I've, 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 I think... I think all the right ones, I have three. I don't have any ones left. Okay. They might not. They might not even work though. I mean, do they all look the same? For the <laughs> from the get go, are they at least all looking the same? Can anyone cry? We should like. Because because the thing is, because the thing is, like if, they, <laughs> if they're all completely different, like they, <laughs> you know, that's a bad sign. Uh, well, um, they could be autistic. They all, <laughs> are you still using stick magic? Uh, I can do. I think you should. I yeah. think you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you still it's waste your money. If you still yeah. to take magic up, you can definitely tell these all emanate the same magic. Okay. They may not look exactly the same. Some are, some are a bit more on the, um, like, this is, it's like someone has, like, tinkered with it, or, like, the, the, the metal's chosen. It's like, there's, like, one bit's a leftover a cog. This bit's just, like, a, like a spring that's been, like, many springs have been squashed together, so it looks a bit like a frizzy... Yeah. Thing, um, like they're it? they're a little bit random, but they all give off the same magical energy. Like one that looks completely normal. Yeah, and it's like, but how long has that been here for? Like kind of thing. Um, I don't suppose anyone has any divination magic we can use to test this. I might be able to learn one, but I'm I can't load my spell sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that seems very unfortunate, Krusk. <laughs> <laughs> What does the spell, the spell <laughs> character shit? What are you I talking don't... about? <laughs> oh, I just, uh, it's like my spell journal, you know, like how you guys have a dream journal. Oh, I right, okay, okay, I get it, okay. <laughs> you, you write down things like a wizard. Yeah, a wizard. but, um, I've been having trouble with the pen, the inks, like, drawing, <laughs> The quill, I mean, <laughs> not the pen, the quill. <laughs> 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 you dropped in that swamp we were fighting in last session. Oh, God. Yeah, it's all, uh, soggy now. Uh, um, so yeah, so he, he, he tries to rummage around for another like two minutes or so, but he says, I can't, I can't see him find any right ones anymore. There's, I only find the only three. Time. Okay. Well, uh, how much are you going to, are you selling these right ones for? Um, well, oh, um, price. Um, yes. You said uh, 10 gold each when we walked in. Is that still? Uh, 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 no. Um... Oh, of course. He knows, he knows the price. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. That, didn't, that didn't take you two minutes. Jeez. <laughs> Shut up. This dude's faking it, man. We should, we, should, uh... um... we should feed him to the orphan. <laughs> if, he gets us the... if he gets us the items... And he charges can... us a fair price, then all is fine. <laughs> I, can... <clears throat> I can do a thousand each. Oh, 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 oh wow. What? <laughs> no. That's a... so well, how much are we expecting them to cost? Probably um, not that. Probably not that. We didn't know. About to say, how how about a little discount for a group purchase? Uh, what type of rarity are they? they are... I think they're uncommon. They're uncommon. So, Uncommon, did you say? Uncommon, the, yes. They fit in the four inch to four thousand range, certainly. A thousand um, is technically reasonable. But you can certainly try and haggle him if you wish. Um, that's the start, starting price. Um, do you have any 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 uh, jobs or something you need doing? You must tinker with a lot of unusual materials. Any anything? Yeah, enough need, like, jobs acquire? going at the moment, Crush. Oh, yeah, but we need jobs. these amulets, so. Jobs, and like, if he takes a finger and like wipes a desk 
and like brings it up and goes, it's very <laughs> dirty. Oh how, hell no! How, how much would uh, how much will you knock off if we if we were to clean clean house, spick and span the whole thing, clean and organize my whole shop. Yep. Sure Alphabetical order. How much of a how much of a discount? <laughs> I'll let you have them. I think this is a load. This is but loaded. You cannot man. leave until the shop is clean. Nah, this is loaded, man. Definitely. Oh, oh yeah. Do you reckon he's got? It's like a TARDIS. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's got to be. Like, what there's no way. There's no way. Of that, what is the deal if we were to buy all three right now? Discount price for group purchase. Yeah. Have you got any spells, Sunny, that help you clean? Like really quickly. No, no, no. Got nothing. Not to say banish all of his. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, that would be organised and clean. That would work for a minute. Um, yeah. Well, no, it goes. It disappears, doesn't it? Or is it? Because um, no. Until only if it's uh, um, only if it's not. Only if it's, if it's native. Not okay. I was thinking like maybe duplicate ourselves or something like a servant would oh, be I've useful. Nothing as well. like that. No. Okay. I can move pretty quick if we wanted to clean the entire place, but if it's TARDIS, then we'd fact anyway. <laughs> I mean, you get a sense that it's a, it's a lot more than meets the eye to the shop. Yeah. You um, did say we could get them for free, though. Deal. Right? Nah, man, I didn't... This, this is loaded. There's no it's way. worth a thousand gold. Do you think we'd ever leave? No. no yeah. We'd be it would just put dust 3, in a corner and say it's not clean. Yeah, three thousand gold. Yeah. Four, three. Thousand gold. Be there Come for on, the you campaign. know, don't you want to do a deal for all three? Maybe two for three? Buy two, get one free? Two for the price of three? I do like that. No, no, three, three for the price of, price of two. Shut up. No, we no, don't want no. two for the price of three. Buy two, extra. get three. Yeah. You want yeah, to buy two for, the, for the price of three? No, 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 no we no, want no, to no. buy... Three for the oh. price of two. Buy yeah. three for. That's not a big deal. Well, well how many of these are you shipping? We're buying all your stock here. When yeah. was your last all... customer? He, look, he looks around the shop. All, all, all of stock. your amulet stock for the bloody. I think I've got a lot of stock left. Um... Yeah, I bet you do, yeah. yeah who, who was your no. last buyer? How long ago? Hmm. Um, I think it was the spring, but then he came back. Oh, it's the spring. Where where are the amulets at the moment? Is he is he holding onto them? No, he's they're got... currently out on the table. The um the worktop. Uh, um, <laughs> fucking stealing. I mean, we could, we could. <laughs> Don't you think it would be better to do a smaller amount of cash flow business now than to have to wait for a very long time until someone else comes along? Surely financially, that's more profitable for you. But you need not scrying right now. Is he gone as well? Well, there is the oddity shop, guys. I think we should hit the oddity shop. <laughs> These are extortionate <laughs> prices. You're, you're. We we need some deal, otherwise we're out. Okay. Are you okay. telling me? I'm the fairest, no me. Are there any I've other heard better deals? <laughs> I've heard better deals in the other shop, mate. So yeah. what's this guy's name? Did he, did he introduce himself? Yeah, but like foreign. Foreign. Okay. Pick. Are you telling us if we went to the odd tea shop down the road, we couldn't get the same thing for cheaper? GPS, but not the same thing. Yeah. Trusk, you go buy an amulet from the odd tea shop. No, you start helping when you're oh, undercutting well, us you. in front of the guy we're trying to get a discount from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't take a side. <laughs> yeah, but you might want to <laughs> keep that under wraps. Okay, okay. The opportunity is, you know, we could always just teleport to somewhere like Moradin City, where they've got plenty of magical craftsmen. Wouldn't that be better, don't you think, Thoradin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a great <laughs> idea. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. know anyone who teleports. Well, obviously, we, uh, we're wasting your time here, so we'll just go, you keep your three amulets, and we'll go to a place where we can buy ones for a much more reasonable price. I mean, if, 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 if you wanted to, um, teleport somewhere, wouldn't you have done so already? 
Can we pay someone to be in the neighborhood? Like... So we thought we would check you out, but obviously you're not very good. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Oh! 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 Hey! Oh! Well, your on. last business was in spring, so <clears throat> which came hey, back? They came back. Yeah. You don't want your business to come back, Chris. One customer. <laughs> it's the spring. What else do you expect them to do? Did the spring come back, or did the customer who bought the spring come back? <laughs> or was there no customer? Was there just a spring? I think the deal was with the spring. Okay. <laughs> hmm. How much did the spring pay you? Also, did they? They come never back? pay enough, you know. Um, that's why they came back. Um, they always, they always leave you and. They always come back. It's a, it's a, it's a labor of love. And right, springs. I've heard enough. I think we should go. Hey, wait, oh, hey, um, hang, hang on. You're, you're trying to. Um, I'm trying to what? You, um, I. You need scrying. Not now. No, now, now. <laughs> right now. Not left, but right now. Left now, not now, right. You need these. Three. Not for three. We thousand, don't need them them. from you. They are an item we can get somewhere else. So, goodbye. Hmm. Everybody, let's go. Uh, yeah, Krask is. Are you, are you walking out? Oh, uh, yeah. Krask is yeah. definitely going to walk I'm, out. I'm, shh, yeah. I'm like looking at everybody. Walk out. Yeah, Kraft walks out. Hmm. Tolari turns. Perfect. Does he say wait? But, yeah, he's like, the wait is like caught in his back. When of we his get throat. to the door, turn around. <laughs> Zambia what? hasn't moved very far at all. She's turned to let everybody else go before her. She's now turning back, apparently greatly enjoying this interchange. You still need scrying right now, not left now, right now, not left. You are not the only one who can provide it ever, so we'll go where we can afford it comfortably. Yeah. Or you can get scried on more and <clears throat> lose or win. That's fine. Or lose. Too good at winning. We Until you lose. No, no one defeats us, pal. No one defeats us. So yeah, I've had enough. killed yeah. demons, oh, no. bandits, <laughs> necromancers. Yeah. yeah. We're pretty good. Trust me. Nothing's getting by us. Undead. He, you know, I'm quite sick but he shivers at undead. <laughs> Quite sick of all this nonsense. I will happily pay you a thousand gold for an amulet that will stop people spying on me. Oh my god! <laughs> we haven't done. <laughs> After all that, just undermined <laughs> the whole oh, negotiation. Okay, okay, okay. We have a thousand. Okay. How about that's one, 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 one thousand. She's not with us. She's just happy to buy an amulet. Let Samant stufflingly speak. <laughs> one, one, one thousand. Two, eight hundred. Okay. Three. And three. Four. Three. Six hundred. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, eight. Sake. Okay, okay, okay. Nine. I'll pay you 800. Why was 7 afraid of 6? Because oh, 8, 9. Thorin's oh. just going to slam his warhammer on the ground. Thorin, <laughs> if you can't behave yourself, fuck off. I'm trying to make the guy focus here. I have 800 gold. So I'm just going to huddle. I'm just going to huddle. Huddle the others. Nadia's already paid for her, so that's fine. I'm just gonna... Nadia's not being <laughs> yeah. huddled. Nadia is Which... standing there looking very, the very others. done with the, all the rest of your bullshit. Just and say. <laughs> whether he accepts... Uh, I, can actually, I can actually afford 800 gold, so I don't really care at this point. I have 800 <sighs> gold. I don't have 1600 gold, but I have 800 gold. Can we buy these? I can, do your money, I, can, I, can, I can do 800. Great. If you can do 800, I can do 800. It's a worthy purchase. Great. We'll take your deal. Huzzah! 
deal. Man, he played Slam a hard 800 there. gold down on the table. <laughs> Turi doesn't care about money. Turi just couldn't afford it. <laughs> it's the only reason she was haggling. <laughs> if I had a thousand gold, I would have already paid for it. True, but we could have got other magic. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we could have got other items as well. Possibly. Uh, it's not my gold. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put up and tell, I've got the 800 on me as well, so Talari will pay the 800. Ah, you guys are rich. I've only got 200. I mean, I've got to like be another, fair, three is... grand left. You, oh, you three were the ones to take it, so I think me and Cross got right. Yeah, it makes sense. For now. Yeah, we'll we'll do with yeah. that. Yeah. Ladies, mm, somewhat. Yeah, we're being gentlemen. It. Like you guys can pay for it, and you can have it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Throw it in the gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Throw it in the gentleman. <laughs> I mean, All isn't right. Terry Gertha using your money, Thorin? No, but it's like her, actually, it's, her it's cup. Iron money. Yeah, it's, it's my cup. Yeah, that's her cup. He I actually already gave him a bunch of my money. Banker. I mean, yeah, Thorin has to give it to Turi to then plant down to use, but yeah. He's my sugar daddy. Yeah. yeah. Thorin, pay amulet? the man. <laughs> what the amulet called again, Matt? So this is an amulet of proof against non-detection. Oh, I'm Sorry, proof, amulet of proof against detection and location. Oh, I my sheet. Yep. Hold on. Thanks. Can I? Can I? Can I? I managed to get my sheet and I got the beholder again. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna add it. I've just I'm managed to off. do it, so. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, let's oh, see. Oh, no. Oh, I just reset. I'm, I'm trying to get like a little bit further each time. I got it. So I'm in. Don't all the time, Matt. Oh, I've got to down... to it. Yeah, I've got the, the link in the. Yeah, there's, a, there's oh, a link in the cantrip chat. Yeah. You've got to attune to it. You've got to attune to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was going to say it's an achievement slot. It, require, it requires attunement, so yeah. if, you have, if you have more than three. Yeah. If you have three, you have to drop something. I'm going to have to get rid of it. Talari's going to get rid of the Talari has to do. Uh, decisions, decisions. The one thing I need to attune to, I've only got. This is the right. only my second light because yeah. my foot doesn't count. Nice. nice. Got Can one you guys... thing I'm going to need to attune to. I, so. know what, I, I know what I'm switching out, so. Okay. Is there something that you can give to someone else which would be still useful yes. for them? Yes, possibly, yeah. Definitely for the what Talari's just Thanks taken me. off, so yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. cool. So she'll probably yeah. pass that on later, we'll sort that out tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the next one goes to um, out when Beyond isn't up the street. Yeah. yeah, when it's behaving. Um, I'm, I'm on it for a, I've been on it for a while now. It's, yeah, it's been stable. It's a matter of a bit, when, but... not if. Yeah, <laughs> I think. true. Um, but yeah, so there's um, there's the amulet link in in the chat for you guys, so you can add can it you put when. Down how much we paid for it as well, because um, Wednesday, whenever I remember to bloody well fix my yeah. sheet, I will have completely forgotten. Mm -hmm. I've managed to stay on my sheet for quite a while, so you might want to try again soon. But... Mine works as long as I don't try and add a new spell, which is what I'm, I'm trying to do. Eighteen oh, gold. Soon. I think it's when you try to write to the API, it, it fails. Yeah, I think whenever yeah. I try and do an action, if I just I, load I, it. It's, yeah, I think it, I think it's when you do like actions and other stuff like that. Yeah. I think it's when you with the dice stuff. I want to pick my new spell, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Until next time. Oh, yeah, so that's in the chat for you. So now you've paid a, th a thousand, not a hundred. So this supposed to be a thousand. Um, yeah. And then everyone else paid it. Cool. Um, so that's there for you guys for reference. Um, that's it. So, um, Bokorin. Seems pleased, seems happy counting the money. Um, it's like, pleasure doing business with you. And so you. you know, and if you, we find out that you've and swindled you. us, we will be back. They work! We're they happy. work right, not left. Let's hope so. They, they, they're they all right. Please don't encourage him. So. Just, 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 just let him talk I think, himself out. I think, we should <laughs> just, I think we should just leave, please. Yeah, we okay. should just go. Mm. Goodbye, tiny known person. Other, I think if we don't leave, I can't blame Thoridin for what he'll probably end up doing. <laughs> yeah. He deserved a smack. Yeah. I mean, Thoridin, if you want to do it, I don't know why. I'll, I'll, I don't uh, know why but... I'll say I didn't say anything. No, let's not. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not. Let's not. You don't Just want to be thrown out. Uh, I'll kick both your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's not make trouble in this town, please. Yeah, there's, there's no point. We, haven't, we have we, somewhere to be. We could do with the rest. Exactly. We'd rather not run out, you know, be chased out. Let's go. Let's go higher out of bed. I need yeah, to sleep. Yes. I could do that. Staying here overnight. Yes. 
Thorden's just going to kick a bin over as we walking down the street. <laughs> well, do you do you, do you, some frustration? Do oh, those now... medieval fantasy bins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do... God damn it. <laughs> do we... Do... <laughs> just the first thing I thought of. Oh, dear. Sorry. Uh, rather than, like, just... kicking some random uh, NPC. <laughs> Chat. There's not even any homeless people oh, either. Like, you've got no one. Got no <laughs> one. This is probably one of the that is clean. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Right. Do we do we want to try the oddity shop? Crosswalk will go anyway because oh, I want to get some little. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm safe. If these guys decide oh, to blow themselves up because of buying a faulty amulet, that's their choice. That's, that's true. That's up to I, I will ask while we're quickly here. I have my ring of haste. But I haven't been using it recently because I'm pretty quick anyway. That also, you know. Just, like, has less haste oh. every time. Oh, nice. but no, it's it's You're the one where it's the one where you activate it, and when it ends, you are super super tired afterwards. Hmm. You, you bought it from a jeweler's, I believe, not an oddity shop. So it's, it's a genuine a, article. It's, it's genuine. But yeah, Plus two AC you... advantage on deck saving. Additional action is that the one? Yep. Mm. Ring of haste, but yeah. uh, after, afterwards, you basically get a level of exhaustion. Oh, I obviously, see. that's only when it ends. I'm surprised you Which didn't is... sell it. You should have sold it in exchange. You still can if you want. I to mean, to. I don't. Then again, I don't think part exchange. You know, probably lost on the man. This is super handy. Though. I think we should why. use it. I think I'd find it very, very difficult to communicate with that gnome again, <laughs> yes. especially in a sale. Oh, well, I mean, if we hold on to it, we could get rid of it. If we'll sell it on, if nobody wants to use it. <laughs> Like him so much. It's, wrong with him. it's just, not. It's, there's a lot wrong with him. <laughs> it's not time. I like. I, I like efficiency, and that was definitely yeah. not efficient. It's funny. You know, it takes a long it's, time. I just want to do a thing and be done with it. I don't mind so much the stuttering and everything. It's it's the it's the difficulty with explanation, and then after that, the attempt at putting the price as high as possible because we're in need. It's very, very exploitive. I didn't like it. Yeah, uh, that's no, that's no. How much these usually cost? Well, no, it's it's on the upper end of of the price, so I'd say that he was probably putting it up, considering he was willing to come down to eight hundred for the other two. Shows me that as well. I was gonna say he knocked off twenty percent like it was nothing. The stuttering could be a sales tactic, for all we know. Maybe he's just completely normal. Possibly. So maybe he's a merchant who tries to make lots of money off of. Oh yeah, no, trade? you know, I yeah. get it. That's why I don't like him. It's just I don't like it. I understand. I just don't like it. <laughs> in the in the meantime, I've had to uh, to attune to this thing. I'm gonna have to unattune to to this. And she pulls out like a little. Do you unattune to something? <clears throat> I think you just. I think unattuning is relatively straight. Quick to let go of yeah. that bond. But it's, it's a tuning that takes like an hour. But the... Basically, when basically when you attune to something else, you basically make the conscious choice to slip that connection to the, one of the three things you were focus, like focused mm -hmm. and felt the close connection with. Mm -hmm. So she um, she pulls out this... Um, I don't know what colour this is. An agate. Is it yellow? I can't remember. Or is it black? I can't remember. Agates. Okay. They're definitely not black. Oh, they're... Oh, hang on, I'll look it up. Like, purpley brown. Well, basically, this this stone. It's an, an it's an agate. Um, but it basically, it's... Um, oh, no, uh, reddish. 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 I think it's reddish, black, by the way. Reddish, reddish stone. Go. And um, she goes... It's uh, it's called a luck. It's a luck... It's a type of luck stone. It's a, it's a stone of good luck, as you will. If you attune to it... Generally, you tend to be a little bit better at everything. The things tend to go a little bit more your way. Overall, pretty you know handy over you know for pretty much anyone really. I don't know if anybody sounds very to... familiar. <laughs> not that bad. It's like <laughs> it's not as bad as the, what you were doing. Though. The ring I had, yeah. Yes, it's not not uh, no, it's not inherently evil. But uh, when you were, was this when you were cursing everyone? Thoradin, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stealing their luck. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't curse anyone here. So. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. That makes it so much better. I didn't curse anyone here. You still went around cursing random people. They weren't always yeah, random. Yeah. They were people that joined us. You know. That's. Yeah. Uh, and we're yeah. trying to help us out. You know. <laughs> those. Those people. Fucking acquaintances. <laughs> I expendable. Wasn't, expendable. Wasn't a nice That's what I said. Thing to do, but Oridan has never done it since. 
That's true. Yeah. Now he just. I'm a changed man. Now he just. Everyone like, deserves a second chance. Burns everyone with lightning yes. instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Terry? <laughs> Everyone deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance, yes. yes. Yep. Some will <laughs> take longer than like others. She's just gonna do it. <laughs> um, if anyone, if nobody else wants that lucky stone, Crask will take it. Well, okay. if you w I was thinking you might want the Ring of Haste. I was actually looking at that as well. Because but... the deck saves might be helpful for someone that as weighed correct. down as you. <laughs> 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 Siri, you know I'm working on my way. I don't appreciate that. I know, but I'm sorry. It's hard not to notice the plate armor going so bulbous around the belly. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, what the, what should it, what, what did the plate kind of like act as some kind of corset and just like holding it all in? You know, just keeping well, his figure. Apparently, it's all in Crust's head. He's just been made to believe yeah. he's overweight. When he's oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> he's not. He's not actually overweight. He's just yeah, insecure okay. about it now. Oh, um, I see. He's actually I'm a... got a complex. Terry's allowed to poke fun. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take, I'll, I'll take the Ring of Haste then. Okay. Because uh, that is useful for me. I keep failing all my dex rolls. Any, anyone for this? It's, it's a custom item in my sheet. It doesn't actually exist. Can you just oh. screenshot it or something? Oh, oh no, wait. I can, I can take it from D&D &D Beyond. If it's, if, it's a, if it's if it's actually a homebrew thing, then you should be able to. I can see all your items and stuff, so I'll, I'll nab that. Oh, okay. Okay. It's it's not. It's a custom item, but enjoy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so nobody wants this then, this stone. I'll I'll, I'll take it if all it's right. going. Okay. Why not? You pass. You pass it over to Thoradin. It's a, It's called a stone of good luck. Nice. Brackets luck stone. Uh, it yeah, basically fine. gives you plus one bonus to all ability checks and saving throws. Oh wow! And your initiative Just as well. Over. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Initiative is oh, ability cool. check. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I didn't yeah, tune to that straight away. Yeah. Just watch all the numbers just go up. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Um, so, um, do you guys decide to bother to? Go to the oddity shop, or I mean, Cross hmm. will go because I wanted to have a look for some low air end items as well. Couldn't hurt, I guess. Yeah. So, we we'll, yeah we'll, we'll yeah we'll go to the oddity shop. You know, they might have something, even if it's half any you know half decent, then better than nothing. Okay. Um. Nadia will generally accompany the group, but probably not like go inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. So you're you're she watching with amusement from a distance. Like, while they're so, in the shop. Yeah, Turi doesn't like the Odyssey shop either, so she'll probably just go find a room somewhere, or actually go to the training ground for a bit. To be fair, the book of Hold came from an Odyssey shop, so they can't all be too bad. That's racist against Odyssey shops, yeah. Do you see the rule back? I just so... don't like them very much. Well, they have they have heavy ties to thieves guilds. Um... Very true. Yes, and Kyle was a thieves guild. So, look, I'm gonna go to training ground for a bit. That sounds like a much better idea at the Odyssey shop. Should I come with you? Oh, I have a new technique. I would really like to try out. How do you feel about blindfolds? Oh my god. She's like gonna open her mouth and give Turi a funny look. Shut it again. I think I think I'm actually I'm gonna have to You're gonna to you're gonna fight with a blindfold? Look, I've been working on something and I haven't really got it until recently. And then it just twigged. And now I really want to try it out. She's just... you, you can wear a blindfold if you want. If you manage to hit me, I'll be very surprised. Krusk, I'm gonna. I'm sorry, but this <laughs> sounds like something I'm gonna need to attend to. No, no worries. We'll. Uh, I'll go ahead to the OC shop. <laughs> just. No, if she can still punch me while blindfolded, she freaking well deserves I, that. Well, I'm, I'm more worried about the damage you're going to do to Turi Co than the other way around. Worry. Don't worry about it. They have clerics. It'll be fine. You want to I... go to the other shop? You go. No, no. I. You know. I'd the rather make sure. There were healers down at the training ground, so all those are. Mm, either me getting beaten by you with your eyes shut. I. Do, <laughs> there, 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 <laughs> okay, fine. There's a bit of me that wants to see this happen, as well. <laughs> so, you know. 
I'm very you curious. You haven't touched me in more violent ways yet. No, I'm tonight. just, I'm just, I'm just curious. You see, no one like none of like Oryx never fought anybody who wore blindfold. People is suicide. So I'm curious to see. You know, I've seen a lot of fighters. I've seen a lot of injuries. Has still, no obviously. one, no one who came to the clinic was stupid enough to wear a blindfold. <laughs> mm. So you call I'm it curious. stupidity, I call it technique. I mean, you guys are about to beat each other senses anyway. So let's, let's, no, we're not going to go down that road. We can do a relaxed sparring. This isn't, this isn't a get out frustration kind of sparring. This is a practice technique kind yeah, of sparring. Like a technique thing. Tonight. Well, wearing a blindfold. Wearing a blindfold, apparently. Sounds like the same Trust thing me. to me. <laughs> Look, I had this one master really hard on my ass, really annoyed that I couldn't figure this out for years and years and years. At Orthon. But then you got oh, it. got it. So, so by walking backwards into a demon, you suddenly understood how to do wear a blindfold. <laughs> yes. Okay, I am definitely coming. <laughs> also, Turi, I have to say. What's your which of us has it worse? Is walking backwards into an invisible demon better or worse than having an invisible demon sneak up behind you? I, I would say that the sneaking is probably worse because, you know, I ran into it like you were accidentally walk into, you know, a, a wall or something when you're not looking where you're going. So it's it's kind of just a, a stun kind of thing. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The slashing afterwards with the dagger, ooh, a dagger hurt like was... a bitch. Yeah, pretty painful. I need to work on how I can just get rid of poison in my body. It's not nice. Oh, just think about it hard enough to get rid of poison in your body. To... Oh, well, I I can do. I that. bet you can. Oh, did we tell you? <laughs> I can. To I... not be poisoned anymore. Mm. That is some bullshit. No, you've got to be a mage for that. I can do that. Oh, I bet I can do it. I can. I mean, I can. I can just do it. Well, what I'm do going you mean to you try. Can just do it. You can just say, like, oh, I'm not poisoned anymore." That's some rubbish. No, I mean, I got a spell that can do it. Yeah, no, having a spell that can do it—that's fine. But two, he's just like, oh no, I will... No, I, I, I reckon if I can focus my key in the right way, I can just get all that poison straight out of my body. Okay. I'll meditate on it. <laughs> For Go two on. more levels. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a thing. I know it's a... <laughs> oh, see, I am damn sure that it's something that's like, oh, you... potentially on your character sheet. I've seen had the thing to talk <clears throat> I mean... I, you know what? I've seen weirder things. So, you know. We've seen people die, come back. So, if, yeah, you, can, just like, if you can flex your muscles right, to make the poison come out of your body, uh, you know what? I, you know. I do <laughs> flex your muscles. <laughs> if it's a flexing muscles, you should teach someone to the technique. <laughs> I mean, there's always the extraction of poison. Oh. <laughs> he's, got a lot of, he's got a lot of muscles to flex. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> While flexing. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> okay, let's go to the training round. You I enjoy the other shop. I dare not ask. I do. What? What have you decided to do with yourself, Thoradin? I don't know. The other yeah. shop or the training ground. I'm kind of tied. Who's going to the other shop? shop with Paul Krask, we'll Just Krask. Just the training Krask. Ground oh, okay. I, yeah, he'll go. No, it's, all, it's all good. I'm gonna go training guard in this one. Um, Krask is a big boy. No, nah, he'll look after Krusk. <laughs> I'm the big boy. <laughs> Someone should have said we know Krusk. <laughs> guys, like... fat shaming's not cool. Okay? <laughs> it's it. It's another form of bullying, guys. Come on. Krusk yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this is Krusk's side objective is to raise awareness now. <laughs> For their speech impediment is okay. Oh, yeah, that was for his sleazy <laughs> self tactics. Oh no, man. Yeah, no, I don't oh, have a problem with the stutter. Nice. I had a problem with the with the ex exploitation of our. Yeah, needs. I had a problem with the ripping off of uh, of goods. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> so. 
So Thoradin and Kraska heading to the Abti shot while Talari, Tyrion, and Nadia are all heading off to the training <laughs> ground. Um, okay. So Kraska and Thoradin, you head to the Abti shot. As you go in, it's the same relatively old human looking man who's kind of just like sleeping, almost like hand hand on one, like propping himself up while trying to like catch a few winks. Obviously it's a slow day for him. Um as you come in, a little tinkle of a bell rings and he just jerks up and goes, Ah <laughs> Ah well, welcome, welcome. What can I what can I do you for? Uh hello there. Um I was looking for um some things that would be useful if say I wanted to cause a distraction and slip off in sort of the chaos, if if you uh, imagine. Distraction. Yep. Well if I might have a few bits and pieces for you, kind sir. Um Excellent. if you want yourself to be the distraction, I have this very fine cloak of billowing. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Does that, does yeah. that require attunement? Because actually, I can't. No, <laughs> it doesn't. Um, how how can... much? Is... Yeah, sorry, go. Uh, where where if you, where and he'll just like sling it over his shoulder and goes like this, and like and it'll just billow dramatically behind him. Oh my so, god! Impressive, no? Is it is it impressive? <laughs> Am I impressed by the billowing? I mean, it's up to you how 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 you would do um. Oh, but it's it, it looks it looks it's not maybe maybe not necessarily <laughs> impressive, but it's dramatic. Okay, you definitely, it's it's oh, it's a lot man. more billowing than Jeez. um you think is is possible. Like you think he's touching it like to do himself, but no, his hands <laughs> are like full like superhero pose. Wow. That's something that's something Lance, that, that's yeah, something La that's something Lance would like. Remember Lance? Yes. That's exactly the one that had the, the horse Elop back in back That's all the way back oh my all God. the way back. I yeah. forgot that. Lance. 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 <laughs> that that is that is an item for Lance. Aha! Aha! Yeah. And they just, just... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Nah, that thing would get caught. That thing would nah. get caught and you'd die, man. Cross is gonna lean in like real close and be Pipes. like how much? Oh my god! <laughs> no, Krusk. What? Are you serious? Oh, I just want to know. Capes, capes do not see you, Krusk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but Foradin, I'm, I'm now I'm now a wizard, Foradin, and wizards have capes. Wood plate You're armor. Wizard. Oh, I do have plate armor. Yeah. <laughs> this works with plate armor, right? It doesn't. The yeah, doesn't yeah it's a cloak. It's not. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> for you oh kind sir, I, I can sell oh. this for a kind cost of two hundred gold. <laughs> That's like all my Jeez. life. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, you, uh, you, you're too on it. You gotta okay, be like, God. I'll, I'll be honest, sir. This is a fantastic product. However, oh God. is there anything which itself causes a distraction? Well, um, firecrackers. Yeah, I think about firecrackers. <laughs> like, oh man. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have been working on this type of armor, um, where if you put it on, you can, like. It works in a kind of different profession. I, I get quite a lot of these for sale in, you know, the the maid shop, maid maid inns. Yeah. But um, basically, you can take it off in an instant, and it goes really well. <laughs> works really well for, for whomever you um wish to, you know, if you're in a hurry, you just go Foof, and you just. <laughs> And so then you're ready. You're ready. Um, yeah, you're with the lady yeah. friend, and you know you just got to get to it quick, and you just rip it off. <laughs> you just rip it off. Armors, <laughs> strippers. What? Oh That's what you're basically God. selling here. Why? Dude, it armor. was definitely. It was definitely. Well, it's not only play. There's a few different armor types you wished. Oh, okay. Um, um, it's not only play. There's a few different armor types. <laughs> Wow, uh, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, that sounds fantastic, but armor's not great for me. I'm already wearing plate armor, as you can see, so I wouldn't want to. I mean, yeah, like, so you can have this play armor, and then you just go, Foof, it's good. And then you're no, ready in a second, you know. You know uh, Bruce, play armor. It takes like 20 minutes or something to get rid of that stuff. Oh, this, so... this armor, this armor I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my armor. Um, okay. Is there anything, any other distraction? Thing? Well, I want to see, yeah. see this in action. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes a long time to get on, but off is just pff, like a... Wow. Like, like, it takes like le six seconds or less. I guarantee. I'll be honest, I was more sold on the billowing cloak and the uh, the, the vanishing plate armor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Do, you have, do you have anything that um, I don't need to put on me and vanishes off me? 
um and like you, you like goes to point at like um it's like a really shiny set of armor um he's like, uh, okay maybe not that um oh how about a a um a lantern that never turns off a lantern that never turns off <laughs> well well it's difficult to, to turn off um <clears throat> like how... nothing's impossible Okay. How do you turn it off if it's difficult? Do you have to do you have to ask it or <laughs> slow <down> it <laughs> I quite like lanterns, so Yeah, um he like he he pops How it on the table and light can Oh that is true. Uh, <laughs> he pops it on the table and like it shines like quite a bright light in a um in your immediate vicinity. Um like to the whole the whole shop is like lit up with bright light wow. and you like you have to like cover your eyes a little bit, like that. That is bright light. That is bright. How do you how do you turn it off? You said it was difficult, not impossible. Um. Did you mean impossible? Well, um, <laughs> because I haven't succeeded doesn't mean it can't. <laughs> um, can can Thordine try and turn it off? Yeah. Like, well, how how do you expect to turn it off? Well, is it like one of those like. Or your lens, you just like flick around. You try, you try and like that like, lick and touch the flame, but the flame keep like dodges your finger. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and, I... and, and like you try and like blow on it really hard, and it just <clears throat> stays lit. Like, Can I cast it's, like, darkness? One of those, like, it's like one of those trick flames where like it goes off and it comes back yeah. on. Can I cast dark darkness on it and like wrap it around? Is it? Is that yes, channel? dark darkness will do it. Okay. Ah, but then, not impossible. Then, but then, as soon as the darkness comes, you turn off the darkness. It's it goes. Not... Like, it's not like um, put out. You just can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Imagine you know your eyes. <laughs> I think. I think your first item was your best item. Two hundred gold. Well, I have a few more if you wish. Um, oh, okay. Oh my God. Yeah, well, let's yes. Let, I, keep I, it going. Have... Keep it going. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's see what else you got. <laughs> Do you, do you, do you, okay, so it's a last bright, and he like op opens like a cupboard, shoves the lantern in, takes out like a like a dagger looking thing. Um, and he's like, nope, not that. Um, and like he pulls out like a sword shaped thing from the cupboard, and like closes the thing quickly. And like you can still see like sh beams of light trying to escape from the cupboard. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'll come back to that later. Um, yep. And like, he begins like to draw like a um, a long sword, and this one glows as if by m moonlight. Ooh! But I already have a long sword, <laughs> and I can't get rid of this one because it's important to me. Huh? Huh? You like very, it? It's, 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 it's very not cool. as bright, but it's. Can we steer away from armor and swords and such? Because it needs to be something I can use with my current set uh, outfit. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, no, not that. Uh, oh, um, how about right? Well, if you, if, okay, if you heard of okay, there's this, there's this awesome magical weapon called the Dusk Crusher, right? It's awesome. It's wonderful. It's, it's amazing, <laughs> right? It's amazing. But but I have the next best. Thing. Oh, and okay. I call it the Dust Crusher. It's got the same name. <laughs> yeah. No, it's the Dust Crusher. Oh. Dust. And, dust. and like, oh, he, he, pull, he pulls out it's a like a what lo <laughs> <laughs> looks like a dustpan and brush. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to be a cleaning rag, isn't it? Uh, like, it looks like a dustpan and brush. But look, you know, like you'll. Like, you like you like so points like a dusty like a dusty point in the on the uh, on the wall and goes that's dirty as anything right I'm gonna yep. crush that dust oh my god and uh, he walks up to it and like he, he sweeps it up and like and it's like wow. the dust that you just get sucked up into the into the thing wow. Wow. you gave it you gave <laughs> it, it to that dust, <laughs> See, that dust crushed. does it does it yeah. suck up anything else how does it know is it only keyed for like dust. Well, I've only ever used dust. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure anything any else. Is there any water nearby? Can I cast shape water to just like sprinkle a few drops? Do, do they go in? Doesn't doesn't look like it's going in. Like it seems <laughs> like it, like it makes like a like a little like 
if anything, like you, you walk over some dust, and like you, the dust crusher goes in, and only the dust is clean. Like the the orb is clean from dust. <laughs> I wish I had one of those actually in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a magical hoover. Ah. Infected me. Um, uh, ah. Ah. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> you know what? I'll I'll take the croaker billowing. I think that's the best item I've seen so far. Wait. Oh. There's, 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 there's. I got something better for you. Something better. It brings better than out. That. It brings out a key. So. Oh. Twenty gold, and it's yours. The, the key. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Unlock. I don't know. It's a mystery. Oh my god. Where did you get it from? I don't know. I found it one day, and. It's... Really. <laughs> <laughs> Arcana, is Arcana, is it just a key? <laughs> no, it feels... It gets, you have, you have like little tingles of magic. Okay. From, How about... From what I, from what I, from, from what I, what I can think, what, what, I, what I know, like, you have, like, a chance. Think about it. You go into the world, and you have a chance, any chance of opening any door you wish with that key. Ooh. How about ten gold? And I'll take the cloak as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> two, two ten. Two ten total, yeah. For the cloak two ten, and the key. Cloak and the and the key. Deal. Shake his hand. <laughs> Your shop is great. There's a gnome down the road. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> does, the, does the cloak uh, uh, Does it need attunement? Uh the cloak No, so the cloak is Excellent. just the cloak of billowing. Um and then it's the mystery key. So a question mark is worked into the head of this key. The key has a 5% chance of unlocking any lock into which it's inserted. Once wow. it unlocks something, the key disappears. That's awesome. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, minus 210 gold. So I've got 77 gold left on me. Wow. Awesome. Frodan, Frodan, come here. I think that was a waste, Grask. Frodan, wait, come here. I need, to, I need to talk to you about something important. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna make the cloak billow when he when he comes home. <laughs> How do you make it billow? Just like an activation word, or is? Just... Oh, I just wanted to will it to billow. Do I yeah. need to say something? Oh, okay. No, uh, just while wearing, you make a use a bonus action to make it billow dramatically. Awesome. I'll, I'll do that. When this is gonna. <laughs> For it in, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. When you're in combat, the mental battle is actually ninety percent of the battle. So the more impressive that we look, the the less effective our opponents will be. You think that's going to scare someone off? <laughs> someone with a cape just billowing behind. I'm just going to billow in response. Don't even <laughs> They're going to be scared of the mighty cross coming into battle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You should put like a lightning bolt or something on us. That's going to be Cross's new favourite like, argument ender. Just, I'm just going to blow in response. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this has endless possibilities around this quote. This was a good, this was a good uh, shopping trip. Wow. What if it's been a bad purchase, Cross? Because if you've got a flapping piece of fabric, what's going to happen? In what? What's, what's going to happen with Mark? A bit glitchy there, Louise. Yeah, I kind of lost half of it. Oh damn! I said if you've got a billowy piece of fabric, what's gonna happen? Because you also own a cat, right? Oh, the cat. He's he's a well-trained cat. cat. He's well-trained though. He like, he'll uh. Get your cape and shred the fuck out of it. Nah, nah. He's he's well-trained. And what what did you? Yeah, yeah, is it, is it, cat. Did you get trained? You got a trained cat, didn't you? Yeah, yeah he's like yeah, the, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, the expert cat. cat okay. Yeah, and I cast oh, dancing okay. lights and stuff for him, you know. So he's he's yeah. well insane. That's right. He, he's got his right. play toys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bought like the extra pack for the cat, so he should yeah, be more than happy. That's true. Yeah. That. I, bought the, I bought the cat expansion. <laughs> <laughs> cat DLC. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! It's just okay. Warren, is there anything you wanted to um, peruse or purchase in this shop? <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> I think, I think Thorin's got everything he needs. Yeah, to to be honest, after seeing that, he doesn't want anything from here. That's fair. <laughs> um, oh, wise, choice. Okay. wise choice. <laughs> so we'll head over to Turi, Talari, and Nadia in the training ground where 
Turigatha wishes to test out some blind fighting skills. Blindfolded fighting skills. Or blind fighting skills. Blind fighting skills, but while blindfolded. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> the gnome is everywhere. So, so you get there, and as per usual, there's a um, this there's, there's a there's the um, what's the word? A foreman, effectively, of the uh, training ground. The um, this, this is a dragonborn, blue blue dragonborn person. And they look look very impressive and intimidating, but kind hearted. If they if you're doing the right thing, if you're doing the wrong thing, they'll just use their like walking stick to like to to beat you beratively and to point out where you were going wrong the whole time. Um, so, you turn up, yeah, he draw side exactly, yeah. Um, and yeah. you turn up, and he's like, um, "Do you need any assistance?" No, we're good. Oh, do you have like a very like eye sized rag? Something I can use one of my own, but I just figured if you had some blindfold. available blindfold, 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 blindfold. Gil crosses down and says, You want to fight blindfolded? Yes, I do, she, sir. She thinks she can. Now, Look, I still got something. Now this, I still want to see. Um, um, he goes into like a um, a box, and basically, you know, like the karate belts yeah yeah like those kind of like like the um the headband type things that you mm -hmm. get like he offers you like a selection of those and says this i gotta see take you you have one in black um <clears throat> sorry sure. i never get to say it <laughs> <laughs> sure um digs around and finds a, a black one not as clean as the rest he probably was um not like to point this one out specifically because it wasn't as clean as the other but, um, she, she doesn't care. Black. Yeah. It's her favourite colour. Yeah, can you use black? Absolutely fine. So, how does this work out for you guys? Walking do you, do you want to be super competitive? Um, or are you happy just to see how it goes? I think definitely at first it's going to be like a like Nani is going to be making it like deliberately easy for Tiri to try and hit her to like get mm -hmm. the feel of it sort of thing. Yeah, and it gets to the point where Turi just full on just hits hits Nani and it's like, oh shit, she's actually oh. good, good at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was unexpected. I feel like Nani would start throwing a few punches like lightly, and Turi would yeah. genuinely dodge every single one. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, then it would be go time. Hit yeah. <laughs> and be like, how are you doing this? <laughs> What the fuck? Go time. Yeah, every, everyone around you is like, stop what they're doing and l watching in genuine interest as this was a person that could see walked in and is now fighting as if they were blind. Like, that's not a, like, they've, they've seen like blind fighters go around and do this kind of thing, but they're like trained to be blind fighters. Like, this is someone that didn't seem to be blind, do, be, do blind people things. Um, this is a very impressive for everybody. I, 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 crowd. I, I think we'd probably just do like first to like five or something along those lines because this isn't like Still before. Still, comfortable with the skill, really. It's not really a competition. Yeah, it's, it's just a... kind of training, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't <clears> have a competition at all. No idea wouldn't. I like the but idea of it like gently escalating. Yeah, but even if you're like actually fighting full speed, as it were, it still doesn't have to be a competition. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing there? <laughs> like... I told you, something just clicked. I'd love it to end with just like grabbing Nadia's fist. It obviously being way too strong for her and it going backwards, but. <laughs> grabbing Nadia's fist. <laughs> Been impressive, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> You don't have the arm strength for that. I'd just be hanging off it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think the height okay. difference is that much. No, I know. I just I like the idea of the fist grab. I just. <laughs> okay. I think I've got it. I think you actually have. How the fuck? Applause. Around you guys. 
to just gently begin untying the blindfold. How do you do that? I would love to explain it to you, but I didn't understand it in my training. It took an invisible creature for me to start understanding the signs. You kind of got to turn off all the noise apart from what your opponent is doing. Your breathing, your heartbeat, the gentle breeze of air as your fist or leg is coming towards me and re react really quickly. Like, really quickly. Are you telling me you can hear my heartbeat? Because that's kind of creepy. I mean, if I, if, if I zone out a little bit... And your breathing is too shallow? Yeah. But how's that really going to work when there's fireballs flying around everywhere? Just an extra you know, fireballs make really big noises. Yeah, so that's a little bit harder to drown out. Uh, well, I'll be busy dodging the fireball rather than <laughs> some random enemy, I think. Well, I was thinking more like Krusk is usually the one that's, you know. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. But, um, no, I just, I have a better understanding of how I'm meant to sense my surroundings. I mean, to a degree. I'm not, you know, ridiculously superhuman or anything. You still be better than me. That's impressive. I can try to teach you, but, uh, the person who taught me wasn't particularly happy with me learning, and I only just clicked it at, like, 50 years later, so... <laughs> I'm not sure it would work. Hmm. <coughs> so, like, you, you be... need your sort of finesse fighting style for that kind of thing. I don't know. Not, Very... I, like, you avoid <clears throat> things, I just take them and carry on. Very, Very reactive for me. Hmm. Although saying that, in 50 years, no idea, your eyesight will probably be going, go, starting to go anyway, so it could be quite useful. <laughs> You're probably right. I don't mind trying it. We can ask for, for, to keep a blindfold and we could practice. I mean, <laughs> don't train you how to do that. Don't, don't you have like black cough in like abundance? I mean, I know, but then I have to rip. Part of my outfit off. <laughs> you have a whole cloak. No point, you know. You've got, you got a whole cloak. You can just cut the bit at the bottom. You would have cut a bit of your robe off to make a blindfold out of. I you, wouldn't. People take rip off clothing to make a bandage. Well, that's yeah, not well, a necessity. Not it. <laughs> I mean, you say it's not a necessity, but for some reason you've been thinking about this for 50 years. Look, can I just explain, when you go through arduous training and there's one thing you do not understand, it plays on your mind. I always just learned it, I suppose. Okay, no need to rub it in, okay? <laughs> I got it yeah. now, alright? <laughs> oh, so How about we blindfold you? you? Are... <laughs> How ever long you bloody well live? 800 years, I've only got, what, 60? I mean, I'm... You know, I'm not that old. Yeah, but you could be, and you've got like 50 years to think about whether you can fight, like, wearing blindfold or whatever. To be honest, about the whole eyesight thing, if we start training now, you have a chance to figure it out when you need it. See? I mean, you're not wrong. I don't think I'd be very good at it, but we can give it a shot if you want. <laughs> Um, well, it's more of an invitation to you. I, it's, it's taken, you know, something playing on my mind for 50 years is very annoying, so I don't want to put that on you if you don't wish to try. Also, it might click sooner. I mean, we're probably going to find something else that's inevitable, so you've already done that part. So that's true. I think this will be very, very useful with the um, ability to cast darkness. I've just had a thought. You know what we need? Bag of chalk dust. Chalk dust. It can make like if we have an invisible opponent, we throw dust at it. You can see the dust as it settles on your opponent. That is not a bad idea. That is a great idea. 
Master oh, DM, where could we go buy some joke dust? Or, or paint, paint. See, um, you want something to like linger in the air, don't you? That's why, because yeah, yeah, paint's yeah. just going to splat on there. If it's all, if you put it on the ground, you can see where it gets disturbed or yeah. puffed up as something is yeah. walking. Yeah. Um, or talc and powder. Well, that's what talc is a thing, is it? Talc and powder basically <laughs> is chalk dust. Talc is a rock. Ah, well, there you go. Did not know that. Um, well, yeah, um, talc powder isn't actually made out of talc anymore because breathing in the rock particles is really Bad lungs. Makes sense. I think when we're fighting something invisible that's trying to kill us, we won't really care. <laughs> yeah, we want it to be bad for their lungs. <laughs> uh, chalk is fairly cheap, really. Um, you can you can get like a whole bag of like chalk pieces for about. Get them ground into powder, or just yeah. to grind them up. My. Um, it's basically. Are we on the same. store then? Could yeah. just. It's... Yeah, but then it would end up all over the landscape rather than in the bag. It's, um, bag. it's useful for like climb, climbers and such anyway, so... Um... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. Yeah. On, on, um... the, on the off chance anyone's got like a herbalism kit or something, because I think those don't have those, have pestle and mortars in them. Um, you oh, can... I am proficient with herbalism kit. So I can get some powder. Yeah, you can, you can get a bag of like chalk powder for about um, two, sil two silver... If you you get like um if you want twenty I'll give you tw twenty uses, um, for two gold. I can pay it. That's gone up from two silver. But uh, uh, <laughs> it's, I was giving if you giving you twenty uses so um. Yeah. Uh, what would you as a use? Just just. So if you if you look at chalk yeah. piece, so if you look at look up chalk in equipment. Um, there's like one piece, yeah. There's chalk one piece, which is like one copper. Oh, okay, okay. So we basically every time we throw dust, we use a piece. Yeah, yeah. What you saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably the easiest way to. Yeah, that, um, that makes sense. To manage it. I can, yeah, I can pay I can it. See if I can look up the chalk. Yeah, I can get it. I'm just saying because I've I've got my okay, character Kenny. sheet open and working at the moment, so. But you don't have your gold. Thoradin's got it. Oh shit! This is the well, problem well, with having a sugar daddy. Well, <laughs> this is where, like, right at the end of your like ma impressive um, blind display, Thoradin and Krusk. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> at the, right at the very end, they're like, "Oh, what did we miss? What, what, we got, what's we going got on?" Sense. <laughs> and everyone was used to come up to, to Thoradin and Krusk come along with everybody just clapping at the end. Um, Unfortunately, you guys miss the impressive display of the blind fighting. <clears throat> They're just like clapping for us. Sorry, yeah, just, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have Kruski and his um, inflated <laughs> ego of his billowing cloak. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, just turns to uh, uh, Nadi and just says, "You know, thinking about the crowd we gather, if we ever need extra change, we could probably put on the show." Probably. <laughs> Thought in case we need money in future, right? Shall we go find a place to sleep? That would be very appreciated, yes. I am particularly tired now. Mm. As am I. Read my mind. Okay. Oh, well, well which one are we We're feeling which... salty, made. Yeah, which, which, one, which one are we going to go for? <laughs> we going guard. <laughs> Fancying it up. All right, Let's go uh... to the, uh, the middle one. I don't care. No point spending extra cash. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. It's not, like, it's not a sketchy town, like. Not the, the not the. What's it? Wait, that's the. Not the salty. The, it's the, the salty it's got, mammoth. That's the middle I one. It salty. Oh, a mammoth. Mammoth. Salty. Damn, you got the brick. So you got the brick and galleon, the heavenly maid, the salty mammoth, or the guard area. Yeah. Let's go, salty. Yeah. Salty mammoth. Better right. be a big place. <laughs> <laughs> mammoth portions. Just, yeah, huge portions. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, big big stakes. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, we'll do that. How how much can we get from the bank at any one time just for anything? 25. 20, 25. 25. 25, okay. Yeah, 25. That's 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 normal walking around money for the everyday commoner. <laughs> okay. You forget you forgetting how much money is actually Yeah, yeah, yeah. How bonkers your actual money is. Oh yeah, yeah. Like one gold's roughly like a hundred quid. Like it's quite a lot. 
One gold is a hundred quid. Mm -hmm. you say? One, no, one gold can you can live. I thought it was a one year. Salary. Yeah, yeah, one, no, gold, no, no. No, one gold, one gold a, a day. day for an expert in their field. One gold a day for an expert. So, okay. um, Jesus, one, someone, one someone, gold a someone, day is like a living wage. Yeah, someone, someone did the maths. Like someone did the maths of like I think it was one a hundred dollars, but I mean dollars isn't that too far off from. So no. obviously, there's different ways you can like live. So if you live like. On a on a modest area, like it's like five silver a day or something. Mm. It's like you've, so yeah. There's, yeah, a goal a goal a day is generally what someone is like your is your living wage, and that gives you enough money to like savings and like things bits and pieces. So like yeah. twenty five gold is to is like your max cap to withdraw a day is, um, fair for banks, for the normal people, which is why they allow bank transfers, mm. if you want to do big things. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, because I'm thinking of starting to replenish how much money I've got on me. Um, so I don't know how, I, if we take a quick, I might just pop into the bank on the way and take another, take just 25 out. Just sort of do that. You got a bag of holding? I do, but the, I do, which is why I can carry loads, because I had all that mm. a gra grand on me. <clears throat> and I've got stop, about I've got about two seventy left on me, but I've got more in the bank, and I'd rather just have it. It's easy just to have it yeah. all, you know. But I don't want to keep yeah. it all because that's a lot of money just on me. Mm. Um, so if I can keep because I don't know we're probably going to be going in the morning, so I don't want to go for, like so I had twenty four hours to withdraw like a loads. So I figured if I just get twenty five out now, at least it just tops, you know, adds a little bit. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So I'll just do that on the way to the salty mammoth. Yeah, that's fine. You can, yeah, because you, you want to buy um your chalk powder anyway. So yeah, it's, it's one gold, not ten. If you want to buy ten uses, it's one gold for ten. I will add nine gold back to my stuff. It's, it's one gold for ten uses. So right. Chalk so. is fairly abundant. Ten pieces of chalk. Yeah, I me too. I have them until we're halfway through the next fight with an invisible. Th Thing, at which point I'll be like, oh shit, the chalk! <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I've written down basically what it gives you. Um, I've added so notes to, to my chalk pieces. It gives advantage well, yeah, to attack I'm rolls against invisible opponents for one minute. Um, are we, yeah. are, are, are none of us going to talk about the, uh, the cape? Cross the cape. Are we just oh, yeah, letting, yeah. are we letting that? Are we just gonna let that slide? Or, I don't the know, mammoth I, in the room. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Krusk, we're inside. We're trying to eat. Like, do you really need to do that right now? Krusk gonna hit someone. What if someone tries to come bring us drinks? Like, you, you know, just flapping around. <laughs> It's very dramatic. It's 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 very also dramatic. very rude inside. Like, <laughs> what you're doing? Go on. As you, as you walk into the inn, like you you make it billow dramatically, and everyone just looks, takes notice, goes, hmm. and then carries on. Dramatic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh god. Well, at least you didn't get the in didn't get the initials put on it. I suppose. Oh, this is just the beginning. Don't you worry. Oh, he's going to put his JC on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. I can see it now. JC with a lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to space, space it out a bit next time. I'll, uh, I'll stop up at his interest. <laughs> wow. Man. Yeah, in terms of colouring, I'll let you choose the colour for it, really, to fit your, whichever your aesthetic is. Oh, um, nice. It's, it's, um, the the colour is um, inconsequential, really, for, for the dramatism that it provides. Thinking red and gold, so it's like eye catching. God, sure. of course, of course it is. Tar Targaryen, Gryffindor. Um... <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do a Gryffindor thing. The lion. Oh god. What? what, what? Don't get him started, guys. <laughs> just, just... It's already begun. I'm sure. It's too if late. it's, I don't know why you would put a lion. Like if a cat, if anything, because that seems. No city, city. I'll yeah. put city on. Yeah. Hey, you, on you said you were going to intimidate people in the battlefield. <laughs> You've got to get oh, oh, Friday, Friday. 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 I'm, I'm at a very, I'm at a very advanced level of intimidation here. Oh Friday, my god! There's a lot of, there's oh, a lot okay. of moving parts. This is, this is my a game. Mental game now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is what he said. It's nine percent in the battle. God. I don't know, man. Matt, can I? Can I? I when we go those, in, I don't think those people that Thoridin lightning bolted. <laughs> In an instant, <laughs> yeah, thinking yeah. much. I don't think there was many mind games going on there, Krusk. 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, stand, stand back, guys. Stand back. Cross gonna throw his arms out. And he's gonna like lift him up a bit. I'm gonna cast fly, and I'm just gonna levitate over to like his bare seating area whilst like billowing. <laughs> you like Superman? He just kind of like you know floats along with his cape out. Jesus. Like people, like people have people have taken their time to take notice of you, and they're not paying any more notice of you. Cross, like, cross, extra, cross, extra theatrics. Cross, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Thorin's actually going to clap because he's seen, he's seen you Thor flying Thorin, about. Thorin, don't, don't, don't encourage him. <laughs> encourage him, Thorin. You know, please stop. It's, I mean, it's, this is it's not funny. the way to travel quietly. The more they, the more they uh, criticise it, the more intently Crust is going to billow. He's going to escalate the billowing. <laughs> we are meant to be travelling quietly. <laughs> Below. He's going to be out of behind us by going. So, anyone yeah. see the Muppet with a bright red billowing cloak? And everyone forget, like, oh yeah, that guy, and point them in the right direction. From now on, I'm going to constantly be using fly. <laughs> Just below. Also, attracting all minotaurs to us. In, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no, no, no pass a cow field. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, um, five, ten, ten minutes, so yeah, after ten minutes, I'll I'll sit. Oh my god, <laughs> ten whole minutes in the air. <laughs> Crust, your food's gonna get, get cold. Your, your, possible, your food's yeah. gonna get cold, Crust. Oh, I'm gonna god. die anyway. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you're not really yeah, you burning anything. Cold food makes yeah. you thinner. <laughs> Surely spell casting burns calories. No, it's more of a mental. Fly, man. It's, it's a mental thing, isn't it? More than anything else. Also, they're not to the I same mean, extent as physical paladin. Paladin. That's true, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Um, you, you find a table in the Salty Mammoth and order food and um, a and a bed for all you all. Um, and it's the casual five silver each. Cool. Um, five silver. And so, yeah, um, and... The, the food you get, um, it's quite all right. It's but um, kind of salty, um, but, uh, but yeah, it's very definitely generous portions. Um, none of you go hungry. It's um, a welcome relief from time on the road. Um, the general hubbub and rumours um, you get from the from the people talking is that um, that those people who travel through Lyra's mists go to the Thunder, the the, the 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 church, the temple in the Thunder Ridge first. Um, they get blessed and they get given a, a torch uh, to to carry with them through Lyra's mists for as long as they keep the torch lit. That they generally should find their path. Through Lyra's mists, if for whatever way they they lose track of it or they let the um, the flame go out, then basically you're more likely to get lost. There's, is there something um, special about the lantern, sorry, or the torch? Is it just they need light to navigate? Um, well, it's blessed by the thunder is what the like a lot of people uh, like. Okay. Some people scoff at it. Some people like believe it as superstition. Um, like it's one of those things where it's like it's everyone talks about it and that's willing to do it because you don't want to risk the one time you don't do it and mm. fall off and get bad. Like yeah. it's one of those things where like you always ask someone if they made it through and like oh yeah I had the torch and like right. and anyone who doesn't go didn't have a torch and so it's kind of one of those ones where it's like survivor bias practically. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Might not there's... actually do any good, but at least it doesn't do any harm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the um, there's a few rumors about what actually is going on in Lyra's Mists. Like there's there's some rumors that there's it's actually caused by dragon sleeping, and that the cob and then there's kobolds cob that mine tunnels in the mists, and they they make like vents up in the, in the um in the area that help that help their dragons breathe. And, and like they breathe smoke and they, they stoke fires which helps perpetuate the mists so it's not mist in itself it's more smoke and that the kobolds use it to then trap and 
um, trick of it, trick uh, travelers in so that they can capture them for for money or for for food or for whatever they kobolds, which uh, kobolds and dragons want to do with them. Um, so there's a few different kind of rumors flowing around of is it actually real it's superstition, but no one really wants to um, take the risk. They they'll, they'll definitely take a, a la- the 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 flag, or they'll head north through the desert of Frugak and go that way instead, which is um, a longer journey for most people. They'll then end up at Helm Encampment and potentially then head south via Helm Encampment to Frugak Village, or they head further north to Zorvanas Port and <coughs> and around that area of the the world. Um, I'll take you to the world map so you can to get an idea. Um, so yeah, so can I, they either head north. Um, to this start in the middle with in the middle of the desert, or they just they risk the mists and go quite slightly faster way to Hugo village, but um, or they head north to Savannah's port. Like that's that generally the routes people go. They either avoid the mists or risk it, or they go. Um... Yeah, because we need. Yeah, because what path? Because we haven't decided. We haven't found out what's. Because what's the next settlement from where we are? Hugo village. Rugek so village. you got you're in the Thunder Ridge. No, are you're we, here we, in the Thunder Ridge. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, we're there. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're there right. in the Thunder Ridge. Um, you can either follow the orange, your orange line through the mists, risk the mists, right, we're gonna have to go and end up in Hurricut Village, where you still got to decide if you want to go to Merkel Village or Mishra City oh. or not. Um, yeah. Or you either head north to the, the Helm Encampment, where lots of like all the mercenaries like go to be trained, and they have like they they end up there's like a route route south. Um, do people go that like, goes like this, basically? And I'm assuming that's um, through the desert. Yeah. So this is the this, so the, the north road is like a desert road, but it's again travelled by um, the mercenary. So it's well, it's desert. It's still fairly well, like neatly, not as dangerous as like main desert is. But like the main road between like Kruger Village and Helm Encampment is basically a trial for the mercenaries, practically, and They'll just they'll take they'll take travelers with them while they're going, but that's a convenience, like strength and numbers more than anything else. There's no way we could go off road with our awesome. No, no, not for a desert. No way. But no, no, not 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 in the desert. I'm thinking just literally go out of the town, go s- straight south until we hit the road again. You can, but you can try. But again, it's Isn't that the it's difficult. Region, though? You do, yeah, yeah. The potential you can hit the rest of the region still. Um, the, you, yeah, still, you, 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 you still, you still, you could try head east, head directly east instead, but then that's quite a long road on the in the forest, forest. I think areas we should follow and... the main road because yeah, if the car gets stuck somewhere, it's going to be horrendous. We're going to have to like go back or just... yeah, yeah. You're looking, at, yeah. you're looking at you're looking at not basically saving any time at all potentially, or you risk that. These mists, you know. Yeah. We should get one of those uh, blessed by Lafanda lanterns, though. I think. Or just oh lantern. yeah, what a or, great idea. Or just a lantern. Oh, just I just think we should get one of the best ones, just in case. Like it's like it's literally like the people say like no harm. We should just it. get a lantern that never goes out. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> uh I, I think we should definitely get the blessing. Whether or not it does anything, it can't hurt getting it. Yep. It's up to you guys yeah. how you want to go back. Um Yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. I mean the ble- if 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 the rumors are that the blessing helps then I don't see why we don't get it. Yep. Um, and if it is, we'll cover ba- cover our basis. So if the, if they're going to give us fo- a flame or a lantern from as part of the blessing, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But also having a flame that never goes out is a pretty good backup. Well, well we've got course. dancing lights, both me and Terry. So but it's not we can just... it's not fire though. Like I uh, wonder, yeah. I wonder if fire wards stuff off. Yeah, possibly. Ooh. I mean, we can make our dancing lights look like lanterns. Mm. Yes, that's true. Yeah, or but I don't know even, if that's so going to help as much. Yeah. Let's, let's do both. We'll have the lantern out, the, the blessed by Lafanda one. We'll cast all our dancing lights. Hopefully, that should guide us through the mist. Mm. And you know, Turi can see with a right shot. So, well, you know, <laughs> to a certain distance. I'm not, I'm not super powered or anything much. <laughs> I mean, you literally cast magic, but okay. 
There's also mm-hmm. talk of a convoy potentially going soon. Um, if you're if you're willing to wait another day, then there's a convoy heading through the mists. Is so this like again, a merchant convoy or like a mm-hmm. military? Okay, merchant convoy. So like strength and numbers, um, kind of thing. Strength and numbers or something. So bigger target to worry about. Yeah. Also, also, not something Talari would necessarily say, think of, but Thoradin probably would. would. Bring our troubles down on their heads. Or offer offer them protection services. That's a good point. Mm. There were there, there were jobs for that. But then we do there. have yeah. to actually protect them, and if it's like a lot. But we, well, but that's fine because if, we, if we, we yeah, but protect them or I mean protect yeah, ourselves. No, if we, if, it's if protecting just, ourselves, really, isn't it? If, if, as if it's we more like we to travel with them. I'm sorry, Cross, but we will be protecting them as well. <laughs> it's just mm. a consideration that obviously we can all take care of ourselves, whereas if we do accept a job to look after merchants, obviously that's a big responsibility. Yeah, depends how much there, there, you, there's depends. certainly possible for you guys to do. Depends how much they pay us, services. I suppose. I mean, we could worst, go, uh, worst, worst case yeah. scenario, they die, we get nothing. Best case scenario, they don't die, we get money. Or, oh, what well, they die? We take a deposit, and then even if they do die, we still have a bit. We take their stuff, yeah. Think yeah. of <laughs> in doing that. So calmly yeah. says that. We just it doesn't matter. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So if, I feel we, like they'd it, want us to have it. Even they in die. death, they can pay us. Yeah. Okay, I can if speak we're with going the to do that, we're going to try pretty fucking hard to protect them, all right? Um, yeah, 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 of course. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> well, I'm going to protect gonna, my skin I'm, and your I'm skin gonna, over I'm, there, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal them. Like, I'll heal them. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, I can heal a lot of people. It, you know, six. Yeah. <laughs> At once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. I think if anything, we're an in, we're an endangerment to these people more than necessary. <laughs> from what I'm hearing, we do tend to across... attract trouble. Trouble, I feel like. Oh, that bloody cape! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you considered the cape. Did you let him buy it? Well, all I'm saying he is, seems so happy. It, it makes <laughs> it, if it, if there's a strength in numbers, why don't we also? You know, we need funds for what we're doing. The, you know, not only, you know, yes, Thoradin's obsessed with money, but we have to be realistic. We need more funds to live. And we're not going to just, yeah. we're gonna not going to raid, we're not always going to be raiding bandit, bandit camps, are we? So mm. things like this, we're going that way. Strength in numbers, blessing, yada, 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 yada. We Might could as well kill, more. you know, kill all our birds with the one stone. <laughs> We could yep. just, you know, share bread and food and that kind of thing and just work together to get along the road. They probably have travelled it before, which means they have a better understanding of it than we do. No, if we're going, we should do, I think we should do what Solari said, which is, we can see if they're willing to contract us for um, protection. Okay, yeah. I'm outvoted, that's fine. Well, we just lost a shit ton of gold, what you guys did, but... Yeah. Not lost, but Spent we might need more protection. Things. Yeah. Well, might need more amulets well, potentially if if they start scrying Thorin and I. I mean, if these potentially. are merchants, they might even have some. Yeah, true. So, and um, also, if we are successful, not only will they pay us, they may share their wares, not share their wares, but sell their wares at a discount. As you know, you, we all like discounts. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, apart from Crusk, for us, I hear. How much did you pay for that cape? It was worth every gold. Okay. <laughs> I also got uh, this key. He'll take out the uh, the mystery key and hold it up. Also got this. A key. Yes. Ooh, mystery. A mystery <laughs> key. Crusk. Yep. <laughs> Crusk. <laughs> what? Okay. What? What does it do? Well, I'm glad you asked because it does <laughs> lots of things. Actually, it can open any door in the world. Any potentially. Door. Potentially. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, you want, so, you want, so, how much did you pay for this? Well, I got this at a fifty percent discount, which is better than what. Uh, the which is, you guys which got. is, which is, which is how much exactly? <laughs> ten gold. So, so you spent ten gold. Off. So you're, you, so you're telling me, <laughs> you bought a key that potentially opens a lock, like all the other keys in the world, for ten gold. Any any door. Any and key. It could be, any, it could be the any, worst door. Technically, Krusk, every every single key that exists potentially opens a door somewhere. No, 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 That's how they door. work, Krusk. No, Krusk. No, Krusk. 
Think about it, Cross. <laughs> he could have sold you a spare, a spare key to like his he, he cupboard or some shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Oh, my, uh, my newly... It's not very difficult to carve a, a, a question mark into a key, Cross. It's pretty my mis- simple. My, my mistress senses were tingling when I picked it up. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, Cross. Not the only thing I was thinking, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 that cape. <laughs> Oh, don't make me uh, don't make me bellow it. Don't make me bellow oh, it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Oh. Prusk, if that thing if if that <laughs> thing if a bit of disgust. Oh my god. If that if, if that crusk Krusk... finishes up, puts a plate up, I'm gonna just like I'll tell you what, it. if 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 that crusk, if Krusk, if that if that key <laughs> opens a bedside cabinet, yeah. Oh it just it's just just oh man. You've got to try on everything now. No, because once it. I use it, uh, it doesn't work anymore. So, so it's, a key, it's, a key, it's, a key, it's a key that breaks after one use. What kind of key did you buy, Krusk? We've got to just make sure we use it on like a really big door. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> okay. Oh god, Krusk. Oh, I missed the oddity shop, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, good. you. Uh, good. You gave me a bad, a bad. Uh, sell on this shop. It's actually amazing. You had a lot of good stuff in there. Guy was very replace. So, do you guys spend some time this evening to, like, shop yourself around as the Justice Collective and you're going your way to Hurricane Village and you're willing to offer your services to um, be be part of the caravan heading that way to, as, as, as protectors? Yep. Yeah, Tara's so. gone to her room, so no, not not her at least. <laughs> but then again, she's not the most persuasive anyway. Yeah, that's fair. So you say so you're willing to to to, let, to flash your flash your Justice Collective name out and uh, offer your services. Yeah, well, that's the point of building yeah. up the name, man. Just to yeah. uh, that's give fine. It just, just, so um, the so the risk of going with a caravan is you don't go your own pace. So it, you know it's roughly around a four day. Tr- tr- uh, ride or caravan ride to um, Hrugu Village. It's probably going to take five or six days, just because the the caravan just just takes longer because you've got to go at the pace of the slowest person. Yeah, um, that's fine. I think we're not in a rush, shall we? You do no. still risk potentially getting lost in the mists if you go this way. So that could take even mm. longer. So it's, it's those one of those ones where it's. As long as you're willing to uh, understand the the risks before you offer your services, mm, um, yeah. Cross so you're, you're looking at a longer journey. You still look might get lost, um, mm. and and so and so forth. Um, but once you're out of the mists, generally will be plain sailing. You can imagine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you can quite easily get involved in this caravan going your the going its way to Hurukik Village. You can get paid about two thousand gold. Wow! For your services, as a group, as as a as a as a whole protection package, two thousand gold. That's really good. Considering we were going this way anyway, yeah. Just... Yeah, yeah. But you have to go the pace of the the caravan. Yeah, because mm-hmm. what is and, it's, it's, and it is contingent. So you get paid half. <clears throat> so you get paid thousand gold first, and then the rest is paid. It's like um. On pond collection from Hurugic Village. Can I add two hundred so gold to the bank now? Then I assume we're splitting it evenly. So you could do that in the morning. Um, okay. But, um, but yeah, so you you paid a thousand gold now, and in the bank they'll say upon um, upon arrival in Hurugic Village with one of the assi- assigned below, will then Aww. give you the money. So the if they the die, we gold. can't get it. Well, we still get the first half of the deposit. Yeah. yeah, still 200 gold for basically. And we would have failed at our job, to be fair, if they did all die, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think this is fun. We don't want a particular yeah. rush, are we? So, we, yeah, let's take our 1,000 golds worth from their stuff. Yeah, so it's 200, yeah. 200 each, so. I've oh. added mine to the my bank balance. I've just put it on. Yeah, me, so. uh, you'll get 200 each, um, however we choose one to split it. Yeah. Um, so, yep, so that could be fine. Um. Cool. So you all go to bed, and during the night, um, you all get the same dream. So I'll post Ooh. it to everybody. Now. Sure? Is this a shared dream, or are we individually? You all. So you all dream this dream individually, but you all have the same one. Okay. 
So you will dream of a room walled by fire with a floor of polished obsidian and a ceiling open to the starry night sky. A single figure wearing dark armor almost made of shadow with a dark jeweled gauntlet or wearing, having a dark jeweled gauntlet on their hand sitting neatly on a throne of shadow. They begin to clap slowly and sarcastically at you with a wry smirk that plays across their lips. Frequently drop, dropping in and out of shadow by the flickering wall of flame around you. Their voice soft slithers into your ears. I see you survived the fight. The best soldiers in the land couldn't. You have piqued my interest. I hope the tyranny throughout the land doesn't cause you too many inconveniences. I wouldn't want you to be too strong now. The figure chuckles to themselves and looks at you pleading. Whatever you do, please. Oh, please, don't hand over Merkel to Mistra. It would be an awful shame for her to get all of the pieces. The heat of the flames begin to get more intense as a smile widens. Maybe I'll come get yours myself. <laughs> With a resounding whoosh, the flames rush out to meet you, and as you're engulfed in the fire, you awake in a cold sweat. Hmm. Damn. The gauntlet makes me think Bane. But yeah, it's pretty spooky. Yeah, so. Where the demons came from, guys. So, Until yeah. next time on the Ascendant Lands. Who was that? Aww. What could that mean? Well, I'll have the next time on the Ascendant Lands. <laughs>